Well, I'm on Facts of Mars. I've been resisting uh, doing this video, but uh, can't ignore it any longer. Mystery booms are being recorded all across the country, and no one can explain why. Uh, this is Newsweek, which means it's the so-called mainstream media. I call them the lame stream media, but anyway. When, you, when something like this gets their attention, you know you got a problem. Loud booming noises have startled people across the country, the United States, but it's not clear what is actually happening or if the separate events are even related. Residents in a number of states, Alabama, California, Idaho, Michigan, and New Jersey, have reported hearing similar mysterious sounds. Most recently, Noises were also heard in Cal Colorado, CBS Denver reports. Monday sounds left CBS Denver's meteorologist Chris Spears baffled. The only possible explanation Spears could conclude was that the meteors from the land of meteor so shower were bursting in the sky, creating loud noises. However, Ron Rannack an astronomy expert struck down his theory by saying that the meteors produced by the land is way too small for this to happen, according to CBS Denver. And here's the problem uh, with all this, folks. <sighs> Nobody's seen anything. It, most people know what causes a booming sound in the air. You have a sudden compression of the air and turns in sound waves, and we hear sound waves as a boom. But nobody's seen anything. This is what's bothering me. This pretty much uh, lays waste to most of the explanations. What are the possible explanations? Meteors, which seems unlikely. Uh, Hyperspeed aircraft. Aircraft going faster than speed of sound. That also seems unlikely because nobody's seen them. Thunder. The average man. Uh, this site's uh, misbehaving, so you might hear it cut in a little bit. So, it's not thunder, it's not meteors, it's not faster than sound aircraft. The after the explosion like noises, first I believe they had a better answer what happened on Monday night. But they still aren't certain. Empty storage tank over pressurized near the region. Where residents were calling in about moon. Colorado Oil and Gas Conservation Commission told Denver Channel due to the pressure to live with one from the tank, potentially resulting in wild noise. Did you notice that there's so many prices I mean, out there? Did you hear it or not, you idiots? More than the report notes that no one is certain there are no environmental impacts or property damage outside the boundaries of their property. The COGCC are looking into the event to further understand what happened. And this goes on and on. It's like I said, my problem with all this. My problem with all this is that nobody's seeing anything. Are they even recording these with sound recorders? It's such an intermittent uh, thing that you really can't tell. This is an intermittent thing, so there's. If it was happening on a regular basis, you know, every 30 seconds or something, you'd have some way at least to track it down and triangulate on its location. But, that doesn't, but that's not the case. So the mystery remains on this one. That's why it's so disturbing is that we don't know what, we don't have any way of knowing what's going on. Is it a serious problem where, you know, we're going to get blown up or is it something minor, some atmospheric disturbance that we're not familiar with yet. 
Well, it's anybody's guess at this point. I would say, if you're in one of the places where you're hearing these, try to get some kind of a recording, look to the sky, look around, try something. We need to get a handle on what this is and find out whether it's a real threat or whether it's something rather minor. At this point in time, is anybody's guess, I guess, I'm thinking. I mean, we know what the end, end result of the game is, but we don't know what the rules are. They use a little metaphor. On artifacts of Mars, keep looking up in the sky, maybe you'll find a solution. Thanks for watching.